Hello everyone and welcome. I had the opportunity to jump in a private plane up at CQ on the old airstrip. It's actually a beautiful area. It's a little bit tough landing in the sun though on the evening time. But what a fun opportunity for me to share with you people out there that have not been in this area before. Here is a shot and we're looking to the west up towards Nia Bay. And you can see the different rock formations on the way that this area is laid out. A beautiful marinas in here in Nia Bay. You can see the breakwaters, the different boat ramp area. And as we swing the plane around towards the east, we're going to fly back towards CQ. We're going to hit Slip Point. We're going to head down towards the Little Moose, the Big Moose. We're going to head out into uh, Codfish Bay, as you look way down the coast to the east, you'll see the very end down there in the foggy kind of Pillar Point. And that will give you an idea from Pillar Point up to Nia Bay. This is what the shoreline looks like. Slip Point right straight ahead there now. And as we move into CQ itself, and CQ in tribal language, means calm water. How about that, huh? <laughs> CQ point there off right to the right there and you look straight across you see slip point. See the nice little basin in there where the water usually stays calm on those winds and you know we've caught a lot of big fish in that area as we continue our flight down towards the east looking at the point itself, CQ. Oh, what a fun area to fish. And these are called the caves. A lot of big fish have been taken in this area. And if we get up there this year, I'm going to be flying this whole area with our high resolution cameras. And we'll be able to look to see what the seafloor looks like not only from the air with the plane like we're seeing now the caves but I'm going to show you the seafloor in high resolution cameras and it's coming stay with us folks we might even be able to do a live feed off the boat but you're looking at the marina now it's no longer called Olson's in Clallam Bay slip point right there look at the rocks when you're boating across here, be careful on those low tides. Looking now down towards the east to the pillar. There's the first little bend that you see that coming up. That's the little moose. You jump down into the next little bend. That's the big moose. You come all the way down into what we I like to call codfish bay or fish trap around the corner down in the by the pillar, but not quite to the pillar yet. And this is a real good spot to troll. Now I'm going to give you a little tip here. If you see seals on the rocks, you know that the fish are not in that area at all. They've been feeding on them at night. And they are staying on the rocks. No fish. If the seals are in the water while you're trolling and looking for that elusive fish on, get out in 200 foot of water because the seals have now forced the salmon out into those deeper waters no longer in that 60 90 foot area all right so the seals will tell you a lot about where the fish are and it's a great shot right now of fish trap that little right rock you saw there oh boy right in there it drops into about a hundred feet and it comes up a big rock cliff and it seems like every time you get around that little corner in there you do well looking towards the east again clear down whoo Port Angeles there's a nice shot of the pillar right there though I'll give you an idea how deep it is right off that rock it just drops into about 80 foot, 90 foot, and if you troll in there, you do fairly well. It's a rocky bottom at times in this area, though, and like I mentioned earlier, 
we're going to have the camera down flying in the small boat in this area and I'm going to be able to show you what the bottom looks like which is pretty exciting to me um, years ago I snagged up in this area right here and in 185 foot of water we pulled a spike out of a hull of an old sailing ship believed to be Captain Vancouver's boat way back when but we have not been in that area for many years and when I get the cameras up there we're going right to that spot to show you if in fact that is a ship on the seafloor. Pillar Point what a fun place to fish and now we're gonna turn the plane into the Sun the clouds you know up here it's interesting it can be flat glassy water and you'll get fogged in at times so when you're flying in this area either in a plane or you're boating in your boat be careful of the fog and you can get a little glimpse of rolling there at Olson's the old building this is of course off of the point itself oh there's rolling down there on the trailer that's where I parked the boat when I chartered up there 27 years I put in fishing this area and I've sure have enjoyed catching big fish there's Arlen's truck from the old days coming in to land take care everyone and remember be safe out on the water and wear your life jacket. Bye-bye, everyone.